Uh, yeah, honestly, um, I was a school that I really considered going um, going to before Notre Dame came in the picture. Um, so yeah, a lot of respect for that school. Um, they do a good job over there. How close were you? Uh, I mean, the number one pick outside of Notre Dame? Oh, at the time, yes. Uh, for sure, I mean, Coach Fizier was a good coach. They all play for him. Um, and obviously good academics. Uh, great. <laughs> Excellent academics. Um, but yeah, then I just know the names. I, like most of you know, it's been a dream of mine. And so I had to make the decision pretty quickly. What makes Northwestern's quarterback so good? I mean, he trusts his receivers, and he, you know he's a big arm. Um, and I think what's slept on is that he could run as well. I think that, you know that's not highly touted um, from him, but he has the capability of making plays. Uh, and I think that's what makes him special. I mean, he's been special for them for a couple of years now. Um, and so he's got to really keep him in control. Obviously, the first ranking was Keon. Yeah. You guys have kind of been in this position before to know um, that the first one doesn't necessarily matter. But I'm sure it's nice to know that you're. Yeah, I uh, I forgot that those things are coming out. Um, so I got like I saw I was on Twitter the next day, and people were like commenting on it. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. Like, my family's happy, obviously, but. As most know, we're not really too <laughs> enthused about it yet. Um, we're going to wait until after week 12. That I might know of. Um, so, let's see. Flint Nagel, I know decently. I'm decently close to him. Um, we played with uh, him, Miles, Boykin, and I played together. Um, Cam uh, Green, I think he's a tight end now. Uh, I knew of him, was same 7 on 7 of the program. Uh, I'm good friends with Roger Campbell, who's a corner. Um, Riley Lee's on the team, a bunch of uh, Chicago Land guys. And so, I mean, a good group of them. Do you but, see them uh, when you get back to back home? Uh, <laughs> when's the last time you want to talk to any of them? Uh, the last one I probably talked to was uh, Rod Campbell, the corner. Um, because we went to a lot of camps. Uh, he's not from Chicago, but he went to a lot of camps um, through the recruiting process. Uh, last guy I texted maybe was probably Flynn. That was like a year or two ago, kind of before uh, everything took off here. So nothing talking about this game? No, no, <laughs> not at all. Are you glad to be back playing uh, with Navy behind you now? <laughs> oh, like a, like a normal defense? Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I'm very happy. Um, you know, back doing my job, um, kind of like what we were doing before. Um, it seemed, I mean, with that bye week in there, the Navy seems like I haven't been playing a real defense in a long time. Um, and realizing a normal offense is uh, schemes. Um, and so, yeah, I feel pretty good I'm getting to the flow for sure. Um, but it feels good. This seems like an obvious question for our answer. What is true? I mean, Drew's a hard soul of our defense. Uh, I mean, he has the <laughs> mental capacity to know what everybody's doing at any given point. Um, he rallies us together um, to keep pushing, keep working. Um, and so, I mean, he's been crucial for us this whole week already. I mean, even though he's not full goal, he's still with us and like getting us together, talking to guys. And I think that special aspect of him isn't necessarily gone when he's you know, not playing right now. Who is that guy? Who is that guy? Who is that guy? I think. <laughs> I think I do a good job of talking to guys individually. Um, so in terms of the younger guys, uh, keeping them in control, keeping them like you know, like, you know their game plans, keeping guys calm. I'm more of the cool collective type. Um, cool, cool, calm, and collective type. Um, and. I think since we have so much experience and a lot of talent, I think all of us kind of just like treat each other like brothers. Like, you know, there's times where we full blown yell at each other, but it's all out of love, and I think that's a special thing. Drew, it's like everybody's kind of like this, like uh, twins or like siblings on the same playing field, and then Drew's just like that older brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, so he kind of just, uh, has a little extra year of experience if you feel behind him.